Hello and welcome back to another video. This just got uploaded. I've not seen it yet. So I'm going to do a live reaction to this. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, got two what clans or is that gyms or what? You got two professors, Professor Soda and two Toro. Oh, that's new. That's your rival, I guess. Oh, that's electric type. It's this, obviously it's this Gen Speak too. Um, if you're connected, you find you can all answer that. Oh, I'm guessing like that's online multiplayer. Hey, Flexwing and the Fluffy. That looks like a Badoo. Hey, critical capture. That looks straight up just looks like a pig. Like a pot's belly pig. Oh, Toodle. Oh, that's a Pokemart. You got trading, Gavenonat, Carcol, oh no, that's Colossal, uh, Gengar, and I've got the Italian flame I've already seen here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So everything. Oh, nope. That's a big crack. No actual game footage. Oh, is this going to be a legendary reveal? Yep. Those are some interesting designs. So far. Ah. Okay. The one on the right reminds me of Sight. The Cyber Dragons from Yu-Gi-Oh! Least in Worldwide, Friday 18th of November 2022 and you get box out reveal. That's cool. What's this? Yeah, it's Pokeball. Is... That's some... That... Okay, I want to talk about this bit here. So... This in the background is making me think it's something to do with Brilliant Diamond because well, this is usually the effect they use for like diamonds and crystals and stuff and Pokeball so I think there's probably going to be some sort of special connectivity with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yeah. Uh, I want to have another look at the legendary Pokemon real quick. Playback speed. So, I'm guessing this one's probably Electric Dragon, which... I don't think we've had an electric dragon other than Zekrom. This one, I'm not super sure. There's nothing particularly obvious about its design. I would say this is this type plus dragon, but it's definitely dragon plus something. Um, we don't have a ton of dragon legends though. It's like, we have... Wait, Quasar from Gen 3. We have Dialga, Palkia, Giratina. Then we have Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kyrim. Then we have Zygarde. 
and all, all the legendaries were not dragon type if I remember correctly. Oh, and then we had um, Eternatus. So dragon type probably has the most. Actually, dragon type probably has the most um, representation when it comes to. Uh, Listen, it's actually this could also be Steel Dragon. Like they're they're almost definitely both going to be Dragon types because just look at them. But I could see this either being Electric Dragon. Well, I think what and why I think Electric Dragon is because you know got the electric here and the eyes and the spit on its body. That's that speaks to me Electric. But this like um, Jet Booster here and its tail and the whole just, like arms. And just like the metallic look to its body could all, also say to me it could be steel. I would not be upset if it was a steel electric type. Hmm. Maybe this could be fighting type. Fighting dragon, we've only had one of them. Because then I would be like... Ah. I'm sure someone uh, much smarter than me will be able to um, tear, you know, tear apart, like, you know, go in depth into, like, both of their designs and the, the, um, figure out what exactly they're based on and their most likely typings. Uh, but yeah, other than that, Got a couple of new Pokemon, got this little pig thing. Uh Le Lee Chonk. Le Chonk. It's a chonky boy. Oh god. <laughs> oh, if I catch one, I'm gonna have to name it that. Oh, you got battle, Pokemon bag, one. So it appears that we're going back to um the Sword and Shield battle style rather than uh, Legends Arceus battle style because you don't have Anywhere on the screen where it set, says to move turn, so it's obviously going to be like uh, going back to Sword and Shield battle style rather than keeping with the Le uh, Legends Arceus. Um, you've got Pokemon being caught. We've got this new thing, which that looks like a regional variant of Badoo. Like that, if that's not a regional variant of Badoo, then I'm going to be disappointed because. The, it looks almost exactly like Badoo. Like, seriously. I got Fluffy. I like Fluffy. One of my favourite Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, I don't think the online multiplayer is going to be super in-depth. I think it's just going to be like... Uh, Sword and Shield, where you see people out and about, and you can talk to them. Maybe they'll make it so that when you talk to them, you can battle. All, all these could actually be in-game characters, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, because with the level of customization you have in more modern games, these could be... Um, NPCs, or player, or just other player character players that you've... That you see in this area. Power of Science is amazing. It, yeah, if you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together for up to four of you. Oh, so you can. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, these are definitely play other players then. Um, so you can he head out on a adventures. That's a bit vague in what it means. Like, I don't know. I'm definitely interested in like uh, what they can do with that. I definitely think uh, more single player, uh, well, more like story multiplayer stuff would be cool for Pokemon. Um, this guy is obviously the regional Pikachu clone. Yeah, I don't love it and I don't hate it. I'm, it might grow on me a bit more later. We've got the professors. Professor Sada. 
and Professor Toro. So I'm guessing these will be version exclusive professors, which is the first time we've had a version exclu version exclusive professors. So I'm guessing uh, these crests belong to the professor then, um, maybe. Because they sort of match up, because like she's got like a brownie, orangey kind of clothing, he's got purple kind of clothing and orange crest, purple crest. So I think the um, uh, professors will have something to do with that. I don't know if Professor Sada will be um, mentioned in the opposite version of the game or Professor Toro. Or maybe they might be rival professors, like having two professors that are rivals would be new, interesting and something they probably could do is do some cool things with that. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, I don't think I'm too crazy about... Um, I do that. I do like these designs. I like this one a bit more because again, it reminds me of the uh, Cyber Dragons from Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, I really liked the Cyber Dragons. So it's just like this because of this, like being familiar to, you know, similar to Cyber Dragons. It's already like, already like it. Um, but its eyes. I don't know what they're called, but the, its eyes remind me of those like glasses, and you can also get masks. I believe that. Um, uh, you know, lights and you have eyeballs on them. Uh. <laughs> but yeah. Nothing super crazy. It's, lo it's actually looking a lot better than it did in the last trailer. Um... Like, if we go to the last tra trailer real quick. Right, home. Um, reveal trailer. Now you can see that it's been cleaned up a bit because this looks closer to Legends Arceus than the new gameplay trailer. That Magma looks really good though. In the build. So yeah, while this does doesn't look bad, uh, not nearly as bad as the uh, oh switch OLED. Um, I don't I don't think I noticed that last time, but yeah, it definitely didn't look nearly as bad as like the first Legends Arceus trailer. Like the first Legends Arceus trailer was very choppy. Like it has choppy parts in this with like I remember like the windmill here. The, the yeah that one at the back there. If you look at this one, these ones in the back, they are very low. They have low frame rates. Like you still at, you have stuff like that. But Legend of Arceus had a bit more, just like low frame rate stuff. But yeah, so it shouldn't be. Uh, so so it shouldn't be uh, a surprise to anybody that um, they've changed it up so much. Yeah. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, video. I hope to see you guys in the next uh, video or live stream, whatever I decide to do. And bye bye.